Hi, my name is Quan Lin, Senior Data Scientist at Rapid7, and one of the authors of the recently released 2019 Quarter 1 Threat Report. In this week's Whiteboard Wednesday, I'd like, to, I'd like to briefly cover some of the key components of the report. Our analysis is based on data we've collected from engagements run by our Managed Detection and Response Team, or MDR, which provide security services to a broad range of organizations, and our Heisenberg system, a globally distributed honeypot cloud network with nodes across various service providers that monitor for inbound activity. The broad scale and variety of data enables us to perform varied analysis and to draw data-driven conclusions about the threat landscape. One of the things we do with the data is aggregate threat events discovered across different organizations and group them into classes of threats, which we further break down by month. What we see is that remote entry, which includes specific threat events like attempted ingress using disabled accounts or multiple country authentications, is consistently one of the most common threats month to month. When we transform the data to look at large organizations and small organizations separately, where we define large as organizations with a thousand or more monitored assets, remote entry again remains the most common threat type for large organizations during the quarter as a whole. The story is somewhat different for small organizations where threat movement is the most prevalent threat type, the remote entry is not far behind. We also look at threats that require some degree of user interaction. People are great assets to organizations, but they also represent one of the most prevalent threat vectors. The organizations we support routinely encounter fake login pages targeted at employees. These fake login pages are designed to mimic legitimate login pages, such as for email or content management systems, and are intended to capture credentials. Our MDR team also maintains a set of custom threat indicators, which show that suspicious authentication remains one of the most common threat types. In fact, we found that suspicious authentication was a more prominent threat this quarter than in the previous threat report. This reinforces the importance of sound practices around credentials. We also tried something very different in this iteration of the threat report we mapped Rapid7's set of threat indicators to the MITRE organization's attack framework. The attack framework represents a widely curated body of knowledge on threats and represents a common taxonomy to help security professionals understand and communicate about threats. The tactics and techniques roughly align with sequentially ordered attacker behaviors. For instance, based on the framework, initial access typically precedes defense evasion or lateral movement. Using the attack framework, we found that of the set of detections our MDR team made, 90% of them were made by the credential access phase of the framework. We also found that the phase along the chain where detections are made do vary dramatically by industry. We'll wrap here with a few tips derived from the full report. First, be wary of remote entry and take the necessary precautions to minimize its risk. The evidence suggests that remote entry is extremely common and is not a non-issue. Second, take a look at the broad threat landscape analysis we perform to, to identify possible threats that are prominent within your industry. Even though you may not have experienced particular threats, your peers within your industry might have, which might indicate threats that you too should be especially wary of. The analysis we provide might be useful to help you identify potential gaps in your security posture. Third, and so within your organization, a healthy fear of potentially fake login pages. Encourage your staff to take an extra moment to double check that the pages they're about to punch usernames and passwords into is actually the page they intend to access. Fourth, try to think about security and detection within the MITRE attack framework, which provides a widely adopted structure to understanding attacker behaviors and threats. With that mindset, take a look at our attack sequence analysis to understand where attackers are de detected and make an assessment of how well suited your security setup is to detecting threats along the, th the attack framework. If you're interested in learning more about the 2019 quarter, quarter one threat report, head on over to our website at rapid7.com to grab the full report. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us by email at research at rapid7.com. We hope you find this issue of the Threat Report handy. Have a great day.